Hello everyone, Kovacs here, and today I'm going to go through how I installed Black Desert, the Korean MMO game that is scheduled to come out in the States later next year, uh, hopefully. Hopefully it does, fingers crossed. Uh, but I was very curious about this game, and once I found out how to actually do it, I jumped at the chance to get into this game and checked it out, and holy crap, it was well worth it. It runs really good. Uh, you do get rubber band issues because no shit, you're playing on a server that's halfway around the world, um, over the entire ocean, all that stuff, And but it still runs really good, which is shocking to say the least. But other than that, let's let's get started into this, uh, getting the setup going just in case you guys are like, oh, I got to get this done quick. Uh, first thing you want to do is you'll go to this website right here. It's how to install Black Desert. It's just a guide to, that you can read through. Uh, it'll talk about a lot of stuff that I'm going to show you. Uh, so basically how to uh, get the full game. It'll tell you how to get the login how to set up your browser plugin and then the English patch which I will go through all these for you so if you don't like reading and you just want to go through this video that's what you can do so first thing how to actually get the game you'll want to scroll down to these two official links uh, click on I believe it's the link two is the one I used uh, but you can try the other number three or number four you could try to do the mirrors if you want uh, I just did the official one which took around six plus hours um, I know the estimated time was ridiculous and I, when I did this I just pretty much went to bed which that's what I would recommend to you if you're gonna download this game do not do it the first thing in the morning and expect to like jump in and play it do it right before you go to bed and just say yep there we go done and I would say the uh, same thing with the account if you want to get the account I would get this downloaded make sure everything's downloading properly and then start with the account and buy the account now for the account we'll go into the account so you'll go to new game new game way dot com and this is where you can buy various Korean accounts you can buy some EU um, accounts if you want to do that um, for some reason they have North American accounts Whatever, I don't understand that one. But this is where you'll go to download the Black Desert, or not download, to get your account for the Black Desert game. Now, it does cost $10. Now, the reason for that is because they have to get you a Korean, um, I believe, name, social security number. They have to make an email for you, and then they have to make the password for you. Because if they don't get any of that, if they don't get the social security or do any of the passwords and stuff like that, you're not going to get into the game. So they charge for it. Now, you can pay this through PayPal, which I highly recommend, just in case you were curious of how it actually works. Maybe you're scared of it, uh, whatever it may be. But once you get it downloaded, uh, if you do it right before you go to bed, like I suggest, uh, when you get up in the morning, you should have an email with all that stuff in it. Save that email. Don't lose it. Now, when you start up the game for the first time, which I recommend that you start the game up for the first time before you try putting the English patch in, just to make sure it actually runs properly, um, what happens is you'll have to put in a secondary password. Now, the secondary password is usually the little numbers. If you've ever played um, any Korean games that came over to the States, some of them do keep the uh, password. And what it is, is just a second line of defense, just in case someone gets into your account, they can try to get into your game, but you'll have a second password. Um, if you forget that password and type it in three times incorrectly, you permalock your account. So that means you have to go buy a whole new account and whatever stuff you had on that account is pretty much gone. So don't do it. Um, just write it down, try your best to remember it, make it something super easy, whatever you want to do. Well, I guess you don't want to make it too easy just in case something happens, but you, you want to remember it. Now, the what was the other thing? So we got the game, how to install it. You just go to the link in the description. Uh, the, the account, how to get the account. Now, the plugin is the one that took me the longest to do, uh, mainly because it was, it was shit. So... I believe this person talks about um, if you're doing the plugins, you can use Internet Explorer or you can use Firefox. Now, I did not do it on Firefox mainly because it says not Chrome friendly. Uh, if you try it on Chrome, it crashes. It just crashes, crashes. It might F your browser up. Um, 
I tried it a couple times and it was not good at all. It sucked. So I didn't try it on Firefox because I just didn't care to. I didn't want to screw up Firefox if anything happened. So as weird as it is, I recommend Internet Explorer for this. Uh, and this is, an, uh, well, I'll show you why in just a second. So I recommend Internet Explorer. So if you try to go into it on your normal, let's say Chrome, and you just for the first time, I'll just show this off, uh, it redirects you to a plugin. Now, if you download the plugin and install it, uh, this is where Chrome pretty much freaks the fuck out and crashes, just boom, crashes. Every single time, it'll crash the browser. Um, I didn't try it on Firefox, I just went straight over to Internet Explorer and gave that a shot, uh, but it keeps crashing it over and over and over, and it's a pain in the butt. So, once you do get that installed on your browser, if you do do Internet Explorer, um, it should pull you up to a website like this, and it's going to look completely weird, and you're going to be like, holy shit, this isn't Black Desert. What the hell did I get into? Um, the other thing it could pull, prompt you up into is the login screen. Now, I'll show that off in a second, but pretty much if that happens, you put the um, email that they gave you. If you bought your account, you put the email, and then you put the password for it, and then you'll log in. And usually when that happens, I believe it brings you to this default website. And then what you want to do is you'll go in here. Um, you'll go to this website right here for the Black Desert game. Now, just hit enter. It'll bring you up to this website, which you're getting close. This is Black Desert. It's talking about the uh, new characters that they're bringing to the game or that they just released for the game. Um, you'll have this X right here. You'll have this arrow, like this little thing right here. I have no clue what the rest of that is, but uh, you'll click on this one and it brings you to this website, which is basically this one. So you're on a good start. Now here is when you go into start game if you haven't logged in it will prompt you to log in so we'll do that very fast it'll show this little message um i'm assuming this message say yo motherfucker log in and you go okay that sounds cool so we'll log in now this is what the login actually looks like this is where you'll put your um uh, I believe they give you a Hotmail account. So you'll put your email account there, and then you'll put your password there, and then you just click Submit, which that could just say go F yourself, but it says Submit in my mind, and that's when you log into the game, and it will start launching. So we'll cancel that. We'll go back one more time. And that's pretty much how you can get into it. So you just go in, you install the game. Uh, you'll go in, and you can buy an account. Uh, also, if you want to do the English patch, I'll show that in a second, but you'll buy the account, you'll get your web browser up and going so you can actually play the game. Um, the other thing that was really important that I wanted to talk about is this right here. So if you're running on the 64-bit windows, uh, I'll show you how to do this. I'm not running on the 32-bit, but this is how you would do this whole area right here. Now, if you are having a problem where it's not recognizing it it's not running uh, you're getting an error which let's see what the picture if you're getting this error when you're trying to launch it this is how you would go about fixing it uh, let's scroll back down just so i can have it up on the screen uh, you'll go into your start menu or your start button you'll go into run and you'll type this right here this r-e-g-e-d-i-t you'll type that in hit ok It'll ask you, just hit yes. Now what this does is you'll go into these computer settings and you'll want to look for this file. Um, so you'll go into hotkey, local machine, you'll go there, you'll go to software, you'll find software. If you're running 64-bit, then this is where you'll go down to WoW 64 32-node. And then you'll go into this um, damn, damn games and you'll click on version and what it normally says is 1001. Now what you want to do is you want to click on this and change the last one into a 4. Uh, I I honestly can't remember why I did read up on it, but I just off the top of my head right now recording, I can't remember why to do it, but just change it to a 4 and then exit out of it. Now that should uh, do the registry, let's say 
should double check your registry. Uh, so for your Internet Explorer, I believe that should be everything for getting into the game. Now, I did recommend launching the game at least once. You don't have to create a character or stuff like that unless you want to try to do it without having the English patch. But um, I would say at least launch it once to see if it's running and then go here to try to get the English patch. Now, the English patch is by this um, Loki guy. Whoever this is, thank you. You're amazing. This patch is really, really good. So far, every quest I've ran into, I'm around 22 now, every quest I ran into had an English translation for it. Uh, granted, the English is still really horrible sometimes, but it does help out a lot. Um, they have done a lot of the quest, or I think almost all the quests that I've accepted. All the text is in English, um, the quest on the side of the maps on English, uh, the option menus all in English. This almost just feels like an English game, but you do run into the cutscenes which aren't fully translated yet. If they get those cutscenes fully translated, this game is just going to be really good even before it hits. Um, North America. So you'll go here, you'll download this launcher. Now your uh, virus protection is going to freak out when it does this and it's going to try to block it. Uh, you'll have to trust it if you want to, to let it go through and launch it. Um, but the thing is it the patch or this one, but when you do get it actually up and going, this is what you'll get. So you'll have an English, you'll have English full beta, and then you'll have the other three languages, uh, depending if you want to actually do a different language. Uh, I would recommend the full beta. That's something that I did. Uh, and then you'll just hit apply patch. It'll apply it right there for you. Uh, and then next time you start the game, if everything installed correctly, then you're golden. You're good to go. And that's pretty much it. Like, that's that's how you would do it. So, like I said, if you just follow this, if you have any problems with your plugin for your um, your browser, remember Internet Explorer, uh, go through this machine, uh, or the start run command, uh, go through this, do that, and get an account, download the game. It's pretty damn simple. I guess. I mean, it's pretty simple because I've already done it. I mean, it's going to be confusing and scary for the first time you do it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. This game, really good game. I would definitely check it out if you do have an extra just 10 bucks lying around that you want to waste on a Korean social security number to get into this game. Might as well. Uh, but until next time, guys, I hope this helps you out. I hope this gets you into the game. Uh, I hope you find some American friends on there that you can sit there and just play this game with because it's really fun to group up with people and give this game a shot. Uh, until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye.